Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, Dr. Priyanka Mehta here and uh, I am bringing uh, to you again in this video some important health information and I would be so happy if you would um, post your questions or your doubts as comments, I'd be happy to answer them. Also don't forget that uh, if you like the content, do press a like and also the subscribe button so that you get the notifications as we keep posting information on health. So women's health is such an important thing and as you can see the color in the background is pink and this is the month of October. So we call October as pink October because October is the month of uh, breast cancer awareness month. In fact, this is the month where you will be seeing a lot of campaigns happening on social media where they are talking about uh, breast cancer awareness. You will have the symbol of uh, the breast cancer awareness as a little ribbon in pink color being seen everywhere. So this is going to be a, a series of videos on breast cancer awareness, what you can do in terms of breast self-examination and also some information about the uh, mammogram or the screening mammogram and also about early breast cancer symptoms. So let me start in this video talking to you about breast self-examination. So breast self-examination is something which all women up to the age of um, uh, maybe 25 or 30 also can start doing uh, once a month and I will tell you how it is done. Also, I will tell you when you should be doing it, how you should be doing it and why you should be doing it. So it is a myth that breast cancer or a problem in the breast is only a problem of the elderly women, say more than 40 or 50, because increasingly, especially in India, it is one of the most common cancers uh, in women and we are seeing many young women also having this problem. So it is so important that especially if you remember this color pink and not only in October but in every month as you get your menstrual cycle, you can start the process of breast self-examination. In fact, as per a lot of studies and evidence, we are able to pick up many cases when women regularly do the breast self-examination so that at least we are able to pick it up at an earlier stage and give you a definitive treatment so that the disease is not you know you're not waiting for it to uh, become at a higher stage where the complete treatment is not possible so the first important thing is about breast self-examination so when do we do it so ideally it is done once every month and uh, the best time to do it is in the postmenstrual time. That means uh, when your period is over. So if you are getting your period regularly every month, it is better to do it in the uh, first uh, five or six days of the period. So when the period is kind of getting over, probably you can just uh, note it down in your calendar so that you do it every month. Uh, how do we do it? It is essential that you understand that the best way that you are doing the breast self-examination is you should be in a shower, you should have a mirror in front of you because not only do we have to palpate and examine but we also need to inspect and look at uh, any kind of uh, problem or abnormality. So first important thing is this is how you should be keeping your fingers for the breast self-examination and uh, if you are examining and this is going to be how you are going to be examining the breast, you have to take your fingers up and down like this or you should be able to with all these four fingers are kept together and that is how you need to examine. So when you are examining, you have to first stand in front of a mirror. So you do an inspection and when you are uh, standing in front of the mirror, you're going to be looking at the breasts, whether there is any abnormal area or there is what we call as puckering. So if the nipple is looking abnormal or is there any kind of a scar which is seen there or anything which looks abnormal. So only when you do the examination of the breast every month, you will be able to pick up if there is a problem. So as early as the age of 25 to 30 years, women can start doing this breast self-examination. The first important thing is do it after your period is over so that that heaviness of breast and before menstruation, sometimes there is this because of the hormones, your breast may feel very dense. So that problem will not be there. So post menstrually stand in your uh, washroom or uh, where there is a mirror and you have to expose yourself. 
first thing is inspection look at the breast look at any abnormal area look at any kind of a discharge and then actually you need to stand like this so that you are able to see the nipples how they are uh, what is the level of the nipple if there is any abnormality the next thing as i told is palpation so with your four fingers you are going to palpate or you are going to feel the breast and how are you going to do it is if you have to examine the whichever side you are examining you can actually keep your hand up so that you are able to examine in a comfortable manner and I have just made this um, little with an arrow mark so that it's easy for you to understand how you are doing the examination how your movements are going to be so each breast when you are examining make sure that with the four fingers say you have to examine and you have to do all these three movements for the uh, both the breasts so when you are starting with the left breast your left hand is up and you are going with your hand in an up and down manner covering the entire breast similarly you can also need to do in a circular like in an outward and inward manner so you are going to feel the entire breast outward and inward so that if there is anything you find that there is a, a small uh, tumor or there is some abnormality you can go and meet your uh, doctor and the third way that you have to feel it is in a circular manner so you need to understand that this up and down method then going in a way where the like you're going out from inwards outwards and outwards inwards and then in a circular manner with your hands kept like this you need to palpate the breast so that each and every part each and every portion each and every centimeter of the breast tissue you can examine to your best understanding so only when you do it regularly every month you will be able to understand if there is any kind of a problem or you feel that last month when i felt it was not like this and somehow it is feeling more dense or i can feel something you can just go and meet your um your doctor your family physician your gynecologist or any surgeon whom you know and then they will probably advise you further imaging because without further either doing an ultrasound or ideally a mammogram we cannot understand what is the problem so do uh, make sure that breast self-examination is done it is done once a month at least it is done after your period and all these three kind of movements are done by you on each breast and when you are examining so left breast you are keeping the left hand up and if you are examining the right side then you are keeping the that hand up and when you are looking at the breast also you are standing in front of the mirror and taking a look and making sure that everything looks okay sometimes there may be some kind of a discharge from the nipple or you think that there is some uh, watery discharge or blood coming out so if it is actual uh, blood stain discharge or if you think it is a milky discharge uh, don't keep pressing and seeing it because again we may not know what is the reason so again uh, you may you will need to go and meet your doctor so that if there is any kind of an abnormal discharge which could be if it is pure milk coming out sometimes women who uh, have had babies can have some amount of uh, galactoria we call it when milk comes out of the breast or if there is a hormone called a prolactin if that is increased in the body also you can have some milky secretion so you will be further tests and investigations will be done depending on the problem that you have so do not ignore any kind of abnormal appearance of the skin on the breast or any kind of redness or if you have excessive pain or if you think that there is some kind of a swelling which is uh, there in the breast please go meet your doctor and get yourself investigated one more point is we also have to check into the armpit so the armpit actually any kind of uh, problem if whether it is infection or even if it is a cancer the draining lymph node or the draining tissues which are called the lymph tissues which go along with our main blood vessels they will all drain into lymph nodes so inside your armpit also once you finish your examination make sure that you put your hand up and you also examine the armpit on both sides and if you find there is a swelling that you also have to uh, meet your doctor and get the same investigated so thank you do remember the color it is pink october so start doing your breast self examination and if you are more than 40 or if there is a family history of breast cancer mother grandmother aunt or some cousin sister you may probably need to do the mammogram or the um, other uh, screening testing even earlier as early as even 30 years so do keep watching and do share this video because 
pink october is something which many women are not aware of and the more you share the more you uh, pass on the health information more number of lives can be saved thank you and take care Thank you.